What's up everybody, it's Bourgeois here. This is the first video in a series I'm making on the Helm Synthesizer. Basically making a complete sort of guide, a comprehensive guide, where I go through some of the documentation and I teach you how to use the synth. If you don't know what Helm is, it's basically a free and open source synthesizer. It uh, runs standalone and also runs in basically any um, DAW that can host plugins. Uh, it's also it's available for all like of the major operating systems, Linux, Mac, uh, Windows. And the reason why I've been making some, I actually have some other tutorials on my channel on this, and the reason for this is I basically got into this synth because I really like the way it looks. I feel like the interface is pretty, like, everything's all out there in the open, and you just kind of can dive right in and make sounds uh, pretty intuitively. And also, I like the way um, the modulation works in this synth. I feel like it's pretty easy and straightforward. So at the end of the series, I basically want you to understand what the synth is and what it does. These right here, they're referred to as modules, and I basically want you to understand what they are and what each parameter, or these little knobs, what they do, and basically how they work together to make full, complete sounds. And so you'll be able to hopefully make your own presets, and so you can use those in your own projects. And lastly, here's some of the resources that I have here. The developer, Matt Titel, he has a YouTube channel. I hope I'm saying his name right. Um, I highly suggest going to check out his uh, channel. I actually got some other resources and things through that. And also, if you're into software development, I linked the uh, source code to GitHub. And if you've never really heard of free software or don't know what like free software means, um, there was another link I found on the website here uh, that tells you a little bit more about the sort of the the thoughts behind that and what free software means. And now I'm just going to show you how to go and download this. When you go to the website, it's going to look probably look like this. So you can click download here and then there's a little donation option. You can actually go here and there's a little remind me. Or you can also put in like a fix a different amount as well. And you can also like as a reminder join the mailing list and stuff like that. And after you click that, it looks like here it downloaded automatically. It might be different for you. If you need to access the downloads page, you could just click on that and here you could just, you know, click on your uh, operating system and then you're good to go. It's pretty straightforward. It's just like kind of downloading any other program. Uh, another way to get there directly is if you go to the, if you go on the website, you see this little view all downloads. This will actually take you there directly. So that's another way to just go straight to it. And I'm going to end this video with a little bit of a sound test. Just basically give you an idea for what this uh, synth sounds like. And stay tuned for the next video because that's coming right up and we're basically going to dive right into it. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you find this series helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.